Okay, so the example I'd like to show you here is one from the book. Um, it's the superposition of two sine waves. So in this case, we're going to be given two sine waves, um, one y1, all right, and um, y1 is uh, five meters um, times the sine of pi times four inverse meters times x minus 1200 uh, hertz times time. Okay. Um, and that's it. We need two of those guys. We need y2 which will be um, of x and t again and this has five meters sine of pi four one over m x minus twelve hundred um, hertz plus times time plus a um, phase chain or phase lag of one quarter so this is actually pi over four there all right so these are the two waves. Um, one of these guys looks like that, say. So that's, say, Y1, right there. Uh, then we need a Y2. And Y2 is going to um, plus four is it no it's a minus one quarter excuse me okay it's a minus one quarter um, that's a um, one quarter of a wave um, wavelength there so now the question is okay so if it's minus one quarter that means it's moved this way. So we have the sine wave like that, which isn't quite as pretty um, because I screwed it up. So there, there we've got the two um, sine waves that we want to add. So um, before we can um, say we want to find uh, y1 plus y2, uh, what do we want to know about it? What A is the amplitude? Okay. And B, let's go ahead and give that an A. And B, uh, the frequency. All right. And let's see. Um, Let's use F for that. So now we've got here our X, our position, and T is time. Okay. And all this other stuff is just normal old stuff. Uh, and the, I guess these are transverse displacements. Okay, so the concept for this, it's a little too close. Uh, the concept for this is going to be um, superposition. And the equation, uh, the book actually ends up having an equation just for this, which is 2a um, cosine phi over 2 times sine of kx minus omega t. Um, and I think it's plus phi over 2, plus phi over 2. Okay. There's a the concept.
just superimposing these waves, adding them up. We've done a little bit of that already. And here's the equation that we're going to use. This part here is going to be um, the amplitude. Uh, which means this A is not good, it's defined as something else in here. So uh, let's call it B. And uh, this guy here is the um, phase constant. And we know what all these other things are pretty well by now. Um, so basically, um, for part A, B is going to equal um, 2A cosine phi over 2 with um, A equal to 5 meters and phi equal to pi over 4. So, or, um, let me check the definition in the book really quickly because it's a book equation that's a plus sign so phi is actually going to be minus phi or pi over 4. Okay so to find this amplitude here we have 2 times 5 meters times um, cosine of minus pi over 8, which is a number. Um, okay, let me go ahead and figure out what that number is. Let's see. Um, cosine pi divided by 8. is um, this number is 0 0.923 0 0.92 oh, let's call it 0.924 and this is 10 meters here so our amplitude is um, 9.24 meters Okay. Uh, B, uh, the frequency, well, the frequency is just the same. F is going to equal uh, 1,200 hertz. There's been no change from here to here, so we're okay. Um, so that's, um, that's all right. Uh, check, well, um, B is... Uh, B is a positive number, so I don't really need absolute values, but B is less than or equal to 2A. So that's good. We could use that as a check. Um, the units of B are equal to um, length, which is the correct unit for the amplitude in this case. Uh, the units of F are equal to 1 over seconds Ooh, hertz, so 1 over seconds oops, I guess that's t to the minus 1, excuse me t to the minus 1 so that's okay so it seems like a pretty reasonable problem I don't, I don't really understand looking at this why it's a blue problem in the book it, seem, it seems like a perfectly simple application of an, equi of an equation that they give you um, I hope this helps on the, on the homework problem that you're working on right now. I'll see you in class.